morning everybody, it's Christian from Student Education with the four majors and notice update for the 2nd of March 2012. Hi everybody, just going to be going over the four majors for this Friday morning. So what do we have in store? Okay, so let's have a look at the weekly. Uh, bearish for this week after a lot of upside the previous week. Um, you'll notice that price actually broke above and closed above a prior uh, support and resistance at one stage yeah, just around just below the 13400 mark and we haven't gone any higher if you look on a weekly daily basis so if we go to our daily you'll notice there again we had um, a couple days where we saw price just pretty much headbutting um, roughly around the 13500 mark a lot of wicks to the upside bodies still closing on in in unison here uh, notice ceiling 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 and this bearish engulfing are pretty much taking away all of the sideways motion, this this this, this consolidative range here at 13, uh, 13,500, which you can quite clearly see on a daily with support and resistance here. And we've seen price moving slightly slower, uh, very tentatively to the downside. Spinning top yesterday, um, this occurring at prior resistance level. Here we go, back in early Feb. Okay. And we are testing those areas as we speak. Asian session, we have uh, open slightly higher, but we are now trading lower in the European session open. And we're trading against that resistance, that prior resistance level again. We knew the, we do need to see a bearish candle to break below this resistance to actually um, break the, the overall trend. If we look at the trend upside swing, um, let me just put that in, make it nice and juicy so you can see it. So bounce, we are in this area where you could see price potentially bouncing. Okay, we have both this prior resistance, which could be a new support, and we have this uptrend now because we've had a prior swing, and we're swinging higher. Okay, price is moving higher, CTC is, we are still below the institution moving average though, so on a bigger time frame, you can see, we, if I move straight out, you can see May, June of last year, you can see the downside trend is pretty much still favoring uh, lower swings, and we have to get above the institution moving average for that to, uh, for this pair to be considered bullish long term. Okay. Uh, so as it stands at the moment now, we do need to be trading above 13,500 to be actually looking at actually uh, tackling the institution moving up here at 13,700 for long-term positiveness. Uh, until then, we should be looking for consolidation. We could see a potential bounce. It is a Friday, so I don't know if we're going to see anybody selling their positions uh, or consolidating their positions at the end of play today. And we could see price putting back uh, because of that. And if we see a nice hammer here or bullish engulfing, um, it could p potentially mean that we, we are going to see a support here on a prior resistance on a trend line uh, on the 20 period moving average. And we could see a bounce higher taking place. So we do need to see price closing lower than at least 13,500 to give us an idea that we should be looking for potential con bearish consolidative moves to form for the remainder of next week. So bear that in mind, guys. On our four-hour time frame, the CTC is pretty much blue. However, we've had a, a very extended pullback. If you look at the extended pullback, we take the lows over here on the institution moving average to our high. This is a four-hour chart. You notice that the 23.6 was a price support that was breached by that bearish candle on the daily, and since then our target would have been 38.2, which we we tackled in the past uh, number of hours. We've seen price um, failing to break that on the previous attempt. Um, Price consolidated, however, not bouncing higher than the 13,500 or breaking that prior resistance level and moving back down to 38.2. The four-hour candle that's in play as we speak is now breaching that. We need, we do need to see this candle break below this 13,300 uh, 13, mark, which happens to be our support area on our daily. Okay, we, if we don't see that, then as I mentioned, we are in, we are tackling that um, trend line as we, as I mentioned, we are still above the institution moving average on our four-hour. Yes, we are trading below our two smaller time frames, but the institution moving average is still there. So we still have potentially all of this as a pullback at 61.8 uh, before we still could see a correction. So we could either see one now, the bounce, or we could see price still forwarding lower in the European session, only for it to actually pull back in the, uh, on the US session to go uh, long. Okay, on the daily, as I mentioned, we do need to see price finding support here to see if we can see a potential bounce as we had before. Um, and that's got to be the close of this candle at the end of play this, after, this, this evening on the US session. 4 hour is looking bearish. We have two parts of our CTC in our favor. Red, uh, red arrow, red candle, but the CTC on either side is still blue. That's primarily because we're still trading above the institution moving average. Our hourly chart trading below the 50 period moving average. 
We are consolidative. RSI is not making any lower lows. It's kind of bouncing as price is moving low. That's potentially giving us a, a heads up that we could see a, a correction soon. We are trading below the institution moving average. We have seen the 20 crossing the 200. However, the 50 is still the cross the 200. We are trading below the institution moving average. So everything's looking bearish, but just be aware on our daily, we are trading into that support or that trend line support and the prior resistance support. Okay, so very, very important. We don't want to be caught with our trousers down. You can quite clearly see that we had prior resistance and we've had prior support over here just recently. So we could see a potential bounce. Yes, we are seeing a squeeze now as price is being squeezed into this bounce area here. RSI is looking kind of flat at the moment. Uh, ideally, you want to see RSI moving lower than the prior lows to give us a consideration that we are looking for potential downside. This doesn't seem to be happening at the moment now, so be very, very attentive if you're looking for uh, an entry. We do want to see a nice bearish, in, bearish engulfing to the downside, a nice candle on our hourly with a lot of momentum showing us that price is still looking for further downside. If, you, if, if the entry is too far away and you're, for your money management, look for the bearish candle to occur. Look for potential pullback of probably 23.6 or, or, or such, and look, look, look for the entry on that candle. So that's how it stands for now for euro against US dollar. Moving on to sterling, let's have a look here on the weekly. Pretty much bouncing higher, a lot of candles still pulling back, a lot of movement uh, on the weekly's intraday, uh, on, on a daily pair, but always moving higher tentatively, uh, higher, you know, opening higher and still moving and closing higher which is all a good sign for upside movement. However, the 50 pair of moving averages has been tested just pre uh, recently and the institution moving average is quite close. Daily chart, you'll notice that previously here in October, November last year, we had the institution moving average acting as a clear ceiling level. Price was trading below the institution, so still bearish, still bearish. And you can see price moved away from that and moved slightly lower, tackling those price support areas, failing to break below them. And we had a bounce consecutively at the First part of February, uh, sorry, Jan. A lot of indecision candles follow a nice bullish engulfing, engulfing all of this indecision, and we saw price moving higher quite nicely to the upside. The institution moving average previously coming into play yet again over here, and price moving away from it, failing to break uh, above it. And then you could have seen that as a level, and then we could have looked at the Fib retracement areas as potential targets. 38.2 acting as a nice stop measure here. We had a nice bearish candle followed by an indecision followed bullish engulfing. This is a nice morning star pattern on a, on a break lower. And we saw bounce retesting or reattempting to test that, that prior uh, institution moving average here. Uh, failed yet again, moved back to 38.2 and then bounced yet again at 38.2 to the upside. A third attempt at, of this institution moving average and staying and breaking. Breaching this for the past couple of days, uh, Wednesday in particular, moving slightly higher yet on the uh, US session late. Uh, close. We saw price moving all the way back, yet not closing lower than that 15, uh, 15 uh, 900 mark, and staying above the institution moving average, which is a clear sign that price would like to move uh, higher. It's, it, it's, it's enduring those areas above what happened to be a prior resistance. Notice we haven't been trading above the institution move, moving average in, since August of last year, so it's a good sign. If we get above the institution moving average, it must be positive. Um, and then yesterday's candle moving higher on the open and uh, Asian session last night going to European session this morning we've seen a slight pullback uh, ideally if you can still maintain above 5900 uh, long term then that still bodes well because we still be looking for potential upside movement to to occur on the pair uh, it's the CTC on our time frame is very much in our favor all the moving averages are below price ideally we want the 2050 and then the institution moving average in that order but at the moment now you can quite clearly see we are trading above the institution so it's got to be good as long as we can look at if you can plot the 5900 uh, mark on our intraday charts i.e. our 4 hour and our, and our hourly and as long as price remains above that area then long term we should look for ten, potential uh, what we're seeing in the moment now is just uh, a pullback and we should be looking for price to consolidate with a potential for price to move higher if we get price closing lower than 5900 then what we're looking for is potentially more selling or more indecisiveness to occur and then with an outlook potentially of bearishness to 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 to, to happen so as i mentioned we have broken above a prior resistance level we do need to see price now kick on from this if it fails and pulls back below the 5900 then it's telling us we're seeing a false breakout and the long-term traders seem to favor still bearishness and we should be looking for downside 
in that case. So if, if that was to materialize, then you take your prior um, lows that we saw on this chart to the highs. You'll notice that the 22.6 happens to coincide with 5900. Break below the 22.6 and the 5900 would psychologically look at 38.2 with 50 and the 61.8, which will bring us back to our institution moving average at a later stage as our targets. Hourly chart, notice we are having a pullback. But you'll notice that the RSI is still trading above 50. And as long as it remains above 50, we should still be just looking at this as a potential uh, bullish consolidative pullback on the, on, on, on the pair uh, as we move sideways, consolidativeness. And as long as it remains above 5,900, then we should look for potentially a, a bounce to occur. Okay, It's only once we break below the, below the 5,900 and the institution moving average, then we should be looking for bearishness uh, to set back in again. Uh, as the you quite see RSI has moved lower as we've moved higher that's going to happen um, we have broken above 5900 which happened to be prior resistance level quite a strong one and the institution on our daily so this pullback let's hope it can still remain above 5900 if it, if it can do so then ultimately we could see a kick on to the upside at a later stage next week Swiftly on to the US dollar Swiss franc. Let's have a been let's have a big look at the weekly. Moving slightly lower. You know, pre, prior week, definitely breaking below that very strong support here at 9110, uh, as well as the 20 period moving average on the weekly. Notice the CTC is still very extended to the downside. I tell you we'd like to see 9110 still being a, a nice support for price to be bouncing higher. That hasn't materialized. Candles again and the arrows are back and seats in our favor, and we've seen price moving lower. However, this week you see a consolidative with the price at the 9110 being tested on the underside. If we look at the daily scheme of things, you'll notice that if I just type that in, put 9110 in here, that'd be great. There we go. You can see price is moving as we speak on the daily to the underside of that prior um, support. Uh, is this the actual breakout, the pullback, and then the continuation to occur? That remains to be seen. If you take the Swing at the moment now. If you take in the bodies or the wicks, it's entirely your choice. If you take the wicks, make sure it's wick to wick. If you take bodies, it's going to be body to body. But if you look, if you took the wick to wick, you will see that the trend line now comes into play with the price support and resistance level. If you take the bodies, there we go. You can see that price is the trend line is pretty much smack bang where price is trading as we speak on the daily 20 period moving averages. So there happens to be three factors of resistance above us. Okay, we do price then it really needs to, to be bullish to really break a back higher than that to find support and then we're gonna see further upside movement. So a breakout, could this be the pullback on our big term, uh big time frame, and then the continuation lower back down towards the institution moving average. So this is this is remains to be seen. And if that's the case, then we have an all time high. We have our support here at nine one ten. We have the pullback to the shooting star here that we had pre previously, and you can see that 100% would take us back to the institution moving average at 8,800. Okay, so that's the first start, then the consolidation, then the breakout. This could be our potential long-term target here. So if price fails here at the underside of price support, this becomes a new resistance here at 9,110, and the 20 period and the trend line and everything stack up and, and hold price lower, then I'll speak long-term, or next week in particular, we should see price extending its downside trend to at least the prior swing here, the support here at 89.5, or ultimately long term back down to 100%. We move swiftly to our four hour charts. You can see the CTC still remains uh, negative. However, you can see we have two parts of our CTC strategy in play. We need we do need all four to be in favor. We have our blue arrow and blue candles, yet we are still trading below the institution moving average, and hence the reason why we don't have the blue to coincide on either side to make it a full buying opportunity. So we're seeing a bullish. Uh, we're seeing a, a, a consolidated on a bearish downside breakout. So if you take the the higher to the low, you can see that 38.2 is in play now, and the 50% will take us back up to this prior breakout support here. Okay, and as long as we remain below those two, then ultimately the, all we can see is potential resistance above us. We do need to find uh, be tr be trading above 9110, ideally above the institution moving average. So anything above 915 on the four hour, we'd definitely be looking for buying. However, until that happens, we're still looking for bearishness and we're still trading below the trend line, the institution moving average, as well as a price support. Okay, 
So as it stands over now at the moment, now we're seeing a pullback to the underside of a prior support, very strong support. Trend line above us, institution moving average above us, there happens to be a lot of resistance above us. Okay, price has got to do a hell of a lot in order to convince us that we should still be looking for upside movement. We could see consolidation, consolidative uh, small movement. You can see now it's very hesitant. Price is moving very hesitantly to the upside. And if we find consolidation here with a bearish or shooting star or bearish engulfing, harami, um, an evening star formation of some sort at this level here, then we, ultimately we should be looking for further downside movement as a long-term goal for this pair. Your solo Japanese yen is our last pair for the day. Let's have a look at the weekly. Pair still moving to the upside. Bit of consolidation just recently, the first part of this week, after three consecutive weeks of upside movement. Look at that. No wicks at all. Pretty much no wicks at all. Just bullish sentiment, just piling into this on the upside. Um, trade, breaking right through that 80, pulling back to prior resistance onto that prior support and bouncing higher. Absolutely fantastic. And that's on the weekly. You look at the daily chart, look at this extension. Absolutely madness. I mean, that's that's at least a 70 degree angle. It's just being bang, 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 ba, 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 ba. Just steady, bullish movement to the upside, breaking prior resistance levels on the way up. Excuse me. Um, you can see on our daily long term support and resistance here. Uh, we saw all time uh, lows at 75.50 before intervention crept in. There was potentially further intervention. Uh, word of intervention here after a failure to break higher uh, early part of Jan moving lower then we had non from peril coming out uh, coming out of the states was, was absolutely a blinding result uh, for for the American uh, market just bullish on that um, indecision here three three days going into that Friday announcement and then we've just seen price moving just just blowing through all those straight through bullish engulfing through prior resistance here just a clear indication that we should be looking for upside and we after we saw a nice break above 80 moved higher however that one it, it was a, a very extended um, uh, trade since then um, at 161.8 price moved back to 1.168 finding support here uh, and and we've been moving higher ever since an indecision candle yesterday at a prior resistance or or, or daily resistance here at 8100 and uh, this morning in the agent session um, opened and just moved straight up. No wicks of the downside. Just just been buying all morning and going to the European session. It doesn't seem to be letting off. So CTC on daily is looking fantastic for further upside movements. Where to next? Two six one point eight could be our next potential target on this pair as we head for the stars. That two six one will take us back up to prior resistance. Uh, prior resistance here yeah, that we saw in May of last year. You can see that we had hesitation at a previous resistance level here. Uh, past couple of days, look at that, it's just breaking through. If we can now maintain um, price above 8120, then we should be looking for 20, 20, uh, 261.8 here at the 8230 or 8220 mark as our next potential target long term. Looking at our four hour time frame, you can see the pullback after this beautiful upside moving, a lot of indecision here. However, that all coming at around 80. Um, 80 would have been our long term. Uh, intraday support once price have been uh, price have been trading above it so as long as it maintain above 80 long term that would have been a prior resistance level and support area and then be trading above it so as long as it remained above that area we should be looking for an outcome long term to store favor upside movement that was the case price moved back on the shooting star at 61.8 back towards 80 found support a lot of indecision price really just went sideways for a full week and then we had a nice breakout candle to the top and we've been heading a I ever since breaking a prior resistance level here as I mentioned at the shooting star and another buying opportunity here on our four hour time frame the past four hours the four hours that we are in now is just heading higher the Euro Asia uh, sorry the European session open is just trading higher on that CTC is very very much extended to the upside notice uh, 20 period 50 and 200 all in order a lot of um, um, space between the moving averages confirming that the momentum upside is be is, is very positive so everything pretty much tick each all our boxes have been ticked to the upside favor for this pair and long may it, uh, it, it continue um, this is the only pair that's really been given us a a, a a decent return on investment and time investment on this pair and the percentage return has been absolutely fantastic so uh, if you're looking for an entry ideally you could have entered already with your stop below here at 8100 or lower under the swing here and ultimately 
um, if you really wanted to you could use the this this move up the pullback and then look at 100% of that extension as potentially a target so uh, let's have a quick look on it so 100% here at 8200 would be a nice area to take some profit if you really wanted to and uh, last but not least the hourly candle one thing to to notice though is price mean moving higher on these prior ones okay well overbought here for example RSI is still above 50 moving up to still below price and the CTC is pretty much extended to the upside um, if you're looking at breakouts opportunities notice RSI has been climbing this temp was lower than that one however we are testing the hourly testing this prior resistance here we do like to get above that because as you can quite clearly see price is testing a prior high now that we saw on the 26 okay ideally I'd like to get above that otherwise what we could just see is price you can see this point over here is testing the same point that we had previously however it's very much lower than that point this was going to be on the same line from that ideally we'd like to see RSI well extended above that however it'll be overbought so just keep that in mind guys be very 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 just just be well aware that we could see consolidation taking place yet again on this pair uh, ideally I'd like to see a close and hourly close above this area here confirming that price is still very much favoring that if that's the case then there's still lots of movement here RSI wise back up to uh, an overbought situation so let's see if that happens over the next couple of hours other than that that's pretty much what's been happening this week for all of you that have made some steady pro progress on profits this week well done to you guys um, if you're still looking for trades there could be potential trade setups for the following week um, other than that I hope you have a fantastic uh, weekend with family and uh, family and friends and I'll see you nice and early on Monday morning. Until then, trade serenely.